speaking. I believe the best way to get someone to believe and trust that you are the person that can help them in whatever area as a writer, the best thing is to speak. I mean, I would say that just you guys watching us right now, listening to us right now, you're probably developing a deeper sense of trust with this brand, right? Because you're listening, because you get to see her every time she shows up. And that's the idea. So my marketing strategy that I stand behind is presentation, whether it's on or offline. It's actually the easiest way to sign clients, right? And so let me give you an example. Let's say, let's say you're someone who's like, listen, y'all, look, I don't want to learn social media. I don't got time to be putting out all this content, but I still want to be able to get some writing clients. All right. Well, imagine if you were to do an offline strategy. Imagine if you were to go to a site like Meetup or Eventbrite and search some keywords in the niche that you're trying to write for and look for some meetups and local events that's getting ready to happen in your area. Then go and click on the person, the host of the event and write them and say, hey, I write about whatever your topic is, right? Let's say you do, you want to, start a business writing blogs for lawyers. So you'll go into the Eventbrite or Meetup and you'll look up for lawyer events for lawyers. You'll write the host and you'll say, hey, I do content writing for lawyers and I would love to come for free, free, pay attention, free, and teach some tips on how lawyers can write better to get more, more, more clients. Of course, they're going to be like, yeah, because it's free and because I need to bring some valuable content to my group of lawyers. So now you go out and you teach a presentation. You don't sell anything. You just teach your hot tips and your framework on how they could write better content to get clients for their law firm. At the end of that presentation, I guarantee that you will have 5% of the people in the room to pull you over and say, hey, do you provide this as a service for firms? So that is the strategy that I follow because it is the easiest. It, you know, now not to say that social media content isn't great. I do it. I, I, I love it. Not to say that advertising isn't great. I do it. I love it. However, I know who I'm speaking to. And I'm speaking to entrepreneurs who are right now working a full-time job, who do not have the time to put in to learn this online space. And it's going to take you rolling up your sleeve and learning some things if you want to soar in the, this online space. So the strategy that I'm giving you is a strategy that will eliminate all that frustration, put you right in front of your hungry audience so you can get some clients now. And then what you do is you take 15% of that money and and you start putting it into learning or hiring the people who can build out funnels and build out ads and all the things that you want to do. So that's what I would tell someone who wants to start right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I my wheels are turning because I'm like, how can I implement that with my situation? And that's a genius idea that I just have not thought of. <laughs> yeah, do it. And there, you know, there's so many sites, right? Not only Meetup, there's, there's Eventbrite, there's Meetup, there's Facebook events, there's, what's this other site? I, it just left me. But it, it's basically social sites, okay? But it's local. So what you do is when you get into these apps, you put in your zip code, and then the app will show you all the nearby events that are happening. Like even right now, as we are doing this interview, it is Tuesday, January 10th, and there is a weekly business networking meetup that happens at the diner about three miles from my house every Tuesday. So if I wanted right now to get in the room with people who are business owners who would, you know, love to hire my agency or join my coaching, they're right there. And yours are right there too. My clients use this strategy to sign clients consistently without dealing with the tech overwhelm and social media frustration. Now that's not to say that we don't set up systems because I believe in it, but I just believe that, you know, you guys have to think strategically. When you come in this space, you're going to hear so much advice. You got to have discernment in what you're listening to. You understand? And you need to start off with profit. Okay. Look at this. Put, okay, people and then profit, okay? So what does that say? That says, in order for me to make money, I need people to sell to. And once I get in front of those people, then I can make profit. And you need to make profit before you start trying to create more expenses. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. It's where I went wrong. And it's where most people go wrong when they start a business. You have to make money first. So go where it's the easiest way to make money. Don't make it hard on yourself.